Uh, my name is Gazelle Alexander. I've been in the music business so probably close to 30 years. I would say I started uh, very young. Um, I worked for uh, close to 10 years for VP Records. I did all the uh, early reggae hits that you know from Sean Paul, Wayne Wonder, um, some of those guys. Then I worked for uh, E1, which uh, was formerly known as Koch Records for about 10 years. And over there, we did some of the early records, uh, Jim Jones, um, DJ Khaled, DJ Unk. Um, and uh, so, you know, I've been around for there. And then I worked for Sony Music for a couple of years. Uh, we did the Mac Wiles record over there. And um, I've worked basically with a lot of their independent labels, um, getting some of their artists uh, mix show and radio play and some video play. Um, right now, that's basically what I'm doing. Um, as uh, Right now, I'm more so doing a lot of independent work, um, helping some of the independent artists get uh, deals, um, different kinds of deals, uh, record deals, publishing deals, distribution deals. Um, you know, that's really where, where my passion is right now. I still do a lot of the radio promotion, video promotion. Um, some indie artists, uh, you know, they want to stay on their own and do their thing. So they need help getting on the radio, getting on TV. So I help them with that. So, you know, that's the second part of my business. And as of recently, we've, uh, you know, myself and a partner have uh, kind of developed a, a touring aspect that goes along with our business, but, uh, you know, we're still developing that and, and getting that where it needs to be. Okay, so when, I, when I'm when i listening to new music and artists and stuff, um, of course, the beat's important. The beat's very important, so the beat has to be catchy. And the other catchy thing that has to happen with a song is the chorus. Uh, I'm listening for a radio-friendly chorus. I'm listening for a chorus that's memorable, that's easy. Um, you know, those are the things that make a hit record. Um, you know, good beat, nice, easy chorus. Um, everything else after that is just gravy on top. So if you have those two components, those are the things I listen for the most. Well, you know, if, if I hear something I like, you know, um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to contact you and kind of see where you're at in your career uh, and what you're trying to do. You know, if you put the record out already or if it's just something that you have floating around and you're trying to get a deal. After that, then I kind of figure out what kind of deal you're looking for. And then I'll go out and try to kind of tailor that kind of deal for you. You know, um, some artists, like I said, they just need distribution. They've got everything else handled. So I kind of I can put together a distribution deal that works best for you. Some artists need a, an actual label deal where they need the support of a back office. So I'll help you get that kind of deal. So it all depends. So the first thing I'll do is contact you, see what you need, and then I'll help you put together the right kind of deal that works for you. Well, you know what I, you know what I like about the Music X-Ray is that, um, you know, uh, there's so much artists out there and there's so much good artists. What I like about it is that that's one place where I can go where I can kind of filter through. Um, I can't do it all by myself. I'm, I'm a one-man team. You know, but with Music X-Ray, the artist comes to kind of comes to me so I can go through and hear what's going on out there and kind of, you know, get a feel of what other people are doing out there, what some of the artists are doing. And, you know, if I find something that, you know, I need or I'm looking for, then I'll reach out. So I think it's a good tool for me as far as finding new music and finding new artists.